He's the king of the twist. Chubby Checker is our guest this week on the Vada Week in person. Support for Nevada Week in person is provided by Senator William H. Hernstadt. Welcome to Nevada Week in person. I'm Amber Renee Dixon. His rendition of the song, The Twist, forever changed the way we dance. The Grammy Award winner is in Las Vegas for three straight nights at the South Point. Chubby Checker, thank you for making the time to stop and by Nevada Week in person. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It's always wonderful being in Vegas. Tell me about um, what Vegas has meant to your career. I'm born in Vegas. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were not born in well, Vegas. Well, it's like I've been here. South Carolina, right? Yeah, it's almost like I, I, I was here in 1962. I came to Vegas, and, and at one time I, I played the Sands Hotel, and I did a resident, residency at the Flamingo. And I know all the streets in Vegas. I know I you used to jog. I used here. to jog from the Flamingo Hotel, down Las Vegas Boulevard, all the way down to the route that goes to Henderson. And I used to do that. It was no, it was nothing here. Right. And, and I just remember that. And, but now when you come to Vegas, if you go to a hotel, when I was here, we used to go around to all the hotels and see what was going on. But now you can go to one hotel and everything's right there. You don't have to go anywhere. But it's just amazing city. And anyone who wants to enjoy this environment, you have to come to Vegas to get it because you can't get it anywhere else. You can get in bits the world. In, in the world, you can get bits and pieces, but you have to come to Vegas to get Vegas. How many times do you think you've done the twist in Vegas? Lots of times, <laughs> but it, it's just a, it's it's just a it's just a great town, and and to be in Vegas right now in 2023, at the South Point Hotel, it's amazing to me that that I'm just here in Vegas and we're gonna have a show. It's, it's a miracle for me. Why? Because, it's, because I've been doing it since, since I left high school. I mean, you were 18 when the twist became a hit. I, I was graduating high school. In and, South Philadelphia. And yes, at South Philadelphia High. And then when I was graduating, the twist was slowly being played on the radio. We really worked hard to get that song played and little did we know that the twist was going to change the music industry and change the world and change the dance floor. We had no idea. How did the twist come to be? Well, you know, Hank Ballard recorded that song and he, and, uh, and he wrote it and it wasn't a big hit. And he had another song out that was doing quite well. <laughs> and I thought that we would record this song and it would, it would happen right away, but it didn't. We worked hard on it. We went to all the record hops and we went everywhere. And they were pushing the other side of the song called the toot. And we went to, to Pittsburgh and a disc jockey named Porky Chadwick says, I'm not gonna play the toot, I'm turning it over. And he played the twist and the phone lit up. And that was the beginning of it. It started to happen after all that work we did and then we won an American bandstand. And that, that appearance on American bandstand changed everything. Because that two minutes and 42 seconds, which is the length of the twist, changed everything. Not for just music and dance, but your world as well. You were Ernest Evans before Chubby Checker. How did you become Chubby Checker? You know, Checker? really, I was chubby since I was like 10. <laughs> Are you talking about adjective wise? No, just no. I, w I became chubby when I was ten. My boss at the produce market, Tony Anastasio, named me chubby, and I says, "You don't call me that." He says, and he cussed, he cursed a lot. He said, "Little sob, I call you what I want. You want to work here?" I said, "Yes, sir." <laughs> <laughs> but and, he was part of promoting yeah, you. Yeah, but I I became chubby, and then I went to the poultry market for Henry Colt, and he and Cal Man took me to to the studio and I was doing a Fats Domino song because I was doing something for Dick Clark. So this lady says, she says, is that chubby? She says, yes, chubby like Fats and checker like Domino. She was Mrs. Dick Clark. Mm. So she put checker on the chubby and I became chubby checker. 
I found it interesting reading about you that your employers, as a high schooler, uh -huh. both utilized your talents to entertain their own they customers. Sh they did. Henry Colt gave me a microphone. He said, sing. <laughs> and I sang and the people came. And, it and you was... also did impressions. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did Elvis. I did Elvis and the platters and oh, I just loved rock and roll so much. And even today, I still do Buddy Holly. Uh, can I, can I, I hear do, some? Yeah, I do him and Charlie Rich and Elvis Presley. And, Give us know, a taste. Yeah, I do it. What do you say, baby? Ooh. What do you say, baby? <laughs> you know, well, you know, well, hey, baby, what do you say, baby? <laughs> I do Elvis, and I love him, you know. And, but the show business, my mother took me to see Ernest Tubb. When we lived in South Carolina, and we lived in Georgetown, South Carolina, and my mom took me to the fair, and she took me to the fair, and I saw Ernest Tubb, and I was four years old. And I went, and from the time I was four years old until I was 17, that's all I could think about is being on stage singing like Ernest Tubb. And how important was it that American Bandstand was based in Philadelphia? I'm not sure that a lot of people are aware of that, that God, it was there before it God moved to LA. It, God put it there for me. <laughs> he did, because after I, when American Bay did a year or so later, they left town. But the thing is, is that that appearance on American Bay Stand changed everything, but it also changed the dance floor. There was, there are about five dances that we do on the dance floor. The twist is one of them. Which we, we are going to be we doing. St we still do it when we see it. Stay tuned for that. But the pony, which, which Don Covey gave to me, because he says, we're not gonna make a hit out of it. So he gave me the pony. Cal Man wrote the fly. If you do the fly, you're doing the shake. And that nasty dance from 1949 by Hucklebuck Paul Williams in the big band, the Hucklebuck. And we, the twist, the pony, the fly, the shake, and the Hucklebuck are the dances that we do today. Chubby made them all popular. But when you were doing those dances, you know, you messed up your makeup, <laughs> your suits got all sweated up. So someone in the music industry slowed down the beat and it got sexy and they called it the boogie, but I'm still the boogeyman. Ah, now the twist <laughs> is where it started though and how did it change the way we dance? How were people dancing before? Because those of you that are watching you, wh whenever your prom was, and you, you know who it was, and you know the song that was playing, and you looked at her, you were looking at her, and she was looking at you. Before that happened, they were doing the swing. But now I get a chance to look at that girl and her sexy stuff, <laughs> you know, and she's looking at me and I'm doing my thing in front of her, but we're not touching. But that's what the twist that's what's happening with the twist. And then the pony came along with the same thing. And the shake came along with the same thing. The fly came along the same thing. And the hucklebuck, the nasty dance, you can't do that. I, when I go on stage, I say, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of hucklebuck, but I don't want to look on the internet and see me doing the hucklebuck. But it can't be anything compared to the dance moves of today. Well, the thing is, is that what they did, they took, took all the dances that we did to another level because the pony gave us break dancing and, and, and the, it's the hucklebuck, the twist, the pony, the shake, all mixed up together. But when you slow down the beat, you can do lots more. I'm and thinking, they do lots more. <laughs> what do you think of twerking, for example? Well, <laughs> well it is what it is. <laughs> well, you know, what we did was not as bold. There you go. As what they're doing today and in some of the clothes that that they wear and I, I I was in the airport and a girl walked past and I almost lost my breath oh I just <sighs> and I just looked the other way because you know if you did that back in the 60s it didn't lock you up mm. yeah now the twist was considered controversial how mm. did you confront that well in China if you did it they 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 sent it you to death in China if you did the twist. And I would say that it was risque. And it was like 
something that, I mean, really, to stand up there and, and do it. I mean, that was like, what are you doing? Well, it's the twist. I can do it. I can express myself. I'm a beautiful woman. I got a real good figure. I got all the good stuff. Now I can move it around. And no one can say anything about it because it's a twist. That's what we did. But it went much further. It went much further. And with the pony and the twist and the fly and the shake, a combination of the boogie were responsible. And, but it's, it's, it's fun. And people are a little having a good time with it. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? I wonder. I had read that before the twist became a hit, you went to your mom and you thought, because you had had a hit, a smaller hit prior to that, and you thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to be just a one hit wonder and done by 18. And you talked to your mom and, and did you ask her to pray for you? Well, she had a hookup with the Lord. My, my, uh -huh. my mother had a hookup with God. I mean, you know, she... What I'm wondering though is what did she think of the twist? Tell me about her hookup well, though she, with God she just She just was interested because she knew what I wanted. My mother used to stage my shows in church when I was four <laughs> years old and three years old. Okay. She did. So me being in show business, she was all for that. I told her, I said, I'm finished already. I'm, you know, I'm not even out of high school. I'm, I got a one stupid song and that's it. And she says, Mom, won't you talk to the Lord for me, Mom? So she, she says, I had a dream about you, Chubb. I said, what? She says, well, you're going to, record a song, and it's not going to be your song, but it's going to cover the whole world, and you're going to be very famous. So I, so a couple months later, I got a call from Dave Apple. He said, Chubby, you know, we, we have this song called The Twist. I said, that's a Hank Ballard song. He says, we know it, but you come up and sing it. We have a recorded and everything. So I went up, and I, I sang it four times because I knew the song. And you were and still he, in high yeah, school. He's, yeah, he says, that's that thing that daddy's sleep at. He says, a little flat chubby. I says, Dave, I'm having trouble with my homework. <laughs> I'm going home, David. They'll never know. Little did I, the rest little is did I know. What did your mom think of the twist, though? Well, I she told okay mom, with I, the move? I says, Mom, I'm doing another song. She said, Ernest, I don't know about it. She said, I, let's see what happens. But she lived to see it, and she saw that I did it. It was, it was very interesting. It was very wonderful. I can't, I can't say much. It was very wonderful. All right, it's time for you to show me the twist. Okay. Teach me directly. I Here mean, this go. is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Here we go. Okay. You brought that, I brought that. Uh, just to well, remind to everybody that you're everybody, at the South I'm, Point. I'm, no. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here oh, we I go. need to. Can I hand my take papers paper. to someone? Here, take a paper. Thank, Thank you. you. Here we go. Are you ready? I am. How do you want me facing you? That's, that's where we do it. Okay. One foot, a little, little, little front of the other. Just, this just one? a little bit. Yeah. Can I go this way? Either way. And this I'll do this way. Little, Phil, pin, pin. Okay. And you lean a little bit. Yeah. Move your feet. Not too much. Not too not much. Not too much because I'm going to fall. It's easy. It's easy. And there you go. There you go. Now this is calm. Now, this keep, is settled. Keep on, keep on. Here we go. Come Get to me. Close. Lean back. Come, Come on, me. baby. Come Lean back. <laughs> Come on. Now, do you do this That's with right. your with your uh, with your audience? Sometimes, yeah. I, yeah, I go out and do it with them. At the South Point. You're wonderful. If by you way. want You're to. Wonderful. Thank you. As are you. What an honor. Thank you. For more interviews Thank like you. this. Thank you. Go to VegasPBS.org slash Nevada Week. Thank you. That was wonderful. Oh, I, I'm big. so happy. Yeah. That